crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. Hey everybody, welcome to Dry Falls in eastern Washington. Have you been here before? This place is a desert, and yet it's the premier spot to learn about the Ice Age floods, the Missoula floods that came across eastern Washington. 15,000 years ago, there was a waterfall here, but not like the waterfall that you have in your mind, perhaps. Here on the lip of Dry Falls, there was more than 350 feet of water moving 65 miles an hour over this cliff. This is water from a bursting ice dam 170 miles away in Idaho that ripped through central Washington. A wall of water that dwarfed the local landscape with the energy of 10 times the power of all the world's rivers combined. An ice age flood with water, rock, soil, and icebergs three and a half miles wide on a thundering journey to the Pacific Ocean. The fact that this lava rock is so full of vertical and horizontal fractures is the key to understanding why there was so much erosion here. So if this bedrock was hard metamorphic rock or granite, Pretty much everybody agrees the floods would not have taken all the bedrock away, but this is basalt lava rock that is heavily fractured, cooling cracks from 15 million years ago. Look at how precarious some of these columns are. It's easy to pluck these guys away one by one with the Ice Age floods coming through. Just lift these columns, take them downstream, so where did all the rock go that was removed from the Dry Falls area? Did it get carried all the way to the Pacific Ocean? No. This is called the Afreda Fan. These boulders are dropped as far as you can see. Boulders more than 400 feet deep. So these guys tumbled over Dry Falls and finally got dropped in this location. Now there's another reason that these boulders are worth attention. What we want. There's a new technique to work with the surfaces of these boulders to figure out exactly how many years they've been sitting here. In other words, there's a new way to determine the age of the Ice Age floods. So the cosmogenic nuclide dating technique is very valuable because it brings something new to this story. It lets us date the landform specifically. So we can go to the Wallula Gap and we can date a giant boulder there and tell you when it was put down and massive water was coming through and backed up behind the Wallula Gap. We can date giant rafted boulders in western Wenatchee and tell you when a massive flood came through that area. We can talk about the Afraid of Fan and talk about when the debris dam failed. We can talk about these events that crafted these geomorphic features through time very specifically for the first time in the study of the Pleistocene megafloods. The thundering torrent of water raged across eastern Washington through the Columbia River Gorge into the ocean. So can you picture it? Can you visualize the Ice Age floods coming over Dry Falls, over that cliff, coming right through here and right at you? 